Hi, and welcome to the production calendar series. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to create a production calendar. Production calendars are great tools to ensure your production is on time and running as smoothly as possible. To create a calendar in your project, hover your cursor over the plan option here in the left sidebar. Then select calendars from the pop-out menu. On the calendars page, click the new calendar button here. In the pop-up, give the calendar a name. I'm going to name mine Short Film, then click Next. On the next page, you have the option to choose from a blank calendar or preset template. By default, there are templates for a scripted narrative, unscripted video, or photography. With any of the preset templates, you will be able to modify them and save them as a new template, which I'll be covering in a later lesson. So for now, I'm going to select Scripted Narrative and click Create Calendar. So now the calendar has been created. You'll see here on the left sidebar, the scripted narrative template has given me groups for pre-production, production, and post-production, along with various rows within those groups. Now, to begin adding events to the calendar, simply place your cursor on the calendar section of the page for the row you would like to create an event for, and either click once, or click and drag to drag the event for the number of days you would like it to be. Now, the event card will pop up. Here at the top of the event card, you can set the status of the event by clicking here and selecting from the drop-down menu. Next, you can enter a name for the event. This is an event for the shooting script row, so I'm going to name it Lock Shooting Script. Below this, you can add an optional description. And here, you can adjust the start and due dates. To the left of the date range, you have the ability to assign this event to a team member on your account. For information on the team feature, be sure to check out the collaboration series on the channel. Here in the tasks section, you can add tasks specific to this event. So for example, I'm going to put apply scene numbers. And later, you or someone on your team will be able to check this task off once it's been completed. If you want to remove a task, simply click the trash can icon here to the right and the task will be removed. If needed, you can also attach files specific to this event here as well as add threaded comments here. An additional option you have available is to add a color to an event. Color coding the calendar can be helpful to quickly identify a specific event or group of events. To do this, click the paintbrush icon next to the name of the event, and in the pop-up, select the color you would like to use, and it will be applied. And if you're looking to duplicate, archive, or remove an event, you can access these features by clicking the More button here in the top right of the event card. Now along with the ability to color an individual event, you can also assign a color to an entire row, so any event created on that row will be in that color. To do this, I'm going to click the X here to close the event pop-up. Then here on the left sidebar, I'm going to click the More button for the Script Breakdown row and select Edit Row. In the pop-up, I'll click the Paintbrush icon, choose a color, and click Save Row. Now, when I create an event on this row, it will automatically have the color applied. You can also create multiple calendars within a single project, just in case you need a variation or a completely new calendar. To do this, click the Calendars drop-down menu here, and then click the Add Calendar button here. Follow the prompts, and click Create Calendar, and the calendar will be created. You can then use the calendar drop-down menu to access all of the calendars within the project. And that's all there is to it. In the next lesson, I'll be covering how to edit the production calendar. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when new lessons are added. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.